Now look, Penny, there's that yellow lichen again all over the trees. Yes, it's very interesting. We're actually only seeing that now where sugar loaf is actually beaming through because everywhere the Aruria one was, and now the Takinaruria Tadami, it's a lichen and the yellow has So it very much looks, I know that Aruria is beaming through here still. We've got sugar loaf over here which comes straight through. We've got dead trees here on the right as you can see. The pattern on here behind, this is the sugar loaf angle which is possibly uh, going through, if we go up the hill, you can actually see the whole expanse of, of dead trees across to the left on the top there above the bridge. Um, and this is where it seems to be out of focus through to Wellington um, or Gisborne. And it's interacting um, with other frequencies here. There's quite a lot of the yellow here. You can actually see nearly every tree has got this yellow and green lichen on it. There's some over there to the right. Um, at Ruhr we actually only had it particularly badly on the sides of the trees facing to the radio tower. Um, on these trees they're actually facing towards Sugarloaf. This one here is quite dead like a lot of mine were. Um, and it's quite extraordinary what we're actually looking at. Of the very high frequency to the trees. If it harms the trees, it harms the people and the animals. It's very interesting that this area where we actually are is one of the worst hit um, earthquake areas down here as well and the indications we've actually got is that where you've got the tree harm, you've got the frequencies interconnecting and you've also got the quake harm. That's very interesting. Thank you.